this is Dan with StarViews.com and today we're here to review the As Seen on TV product, the Big Top Cupcake Silicone Bakeware. Now first I just want to go over what you're going to get when you receive your Big Top order. You're going to get this, uh, the kit is three pieces. Obviously here is the bottom of the cupcake, here is the top of the cupcake. When you're done it's going to be flipped upside down but this uh, has this so it stands so you can bake. And this piece works with the bottom and what this does is it allows you um, a spot so when you put this on the top it's going to leave a little cutout so you can actually uh, you know use a filling with these cupcakes. So we're going to go ahead and put this big top cupcake to the test and see if it stands up to the claims that they make in their infomercial and we're going to make a big top cupcake. Stay tuned. Okay so we're here now uh, we have our cake mix just mixed up. We just used a box cake uh, just for some yellow cake. They recommend that you put the big top cupcake on a uh, more sturdy cookie sheet like this because again it is flexible and you don't want it to you know flex as you're putting it in and spill into your oven. Um, they also recommend you coat it with a non-stick uh, non, uh, cooking spray. We've done that. We filled the top. Obviously the top sits upside down so you can fill it. Now let's fill the bottom. Now for the bottom you're going to want to fill this up to about, there's, there's two lines so you're going to want to fill it up to the uh, to the top line in order to, for you to use the the special top that allows you to have a little room to uh, to put a filling in there. So just like that we filled it up to the uh, to the top line even it out and then you take this and you're going to place this over the bottom and around here in the, in the in the rim is actually where it locks onto the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. We've obviously preheated the oven per the instructions on our cake mix and uh, let's get this thrown in the oven. We're going to put together the, uh, the filling. We're going to make a Boston cream uh, cupcake. So the filling is just the basic. It's in the recipe book and the filling is just some uh, vanilla pudding. So now uh, we're just going to take this, put it in the oven and we'll be back and uh, show you our results. Stay tuned. Okay, so our big top cupcake just got out of the oven. Um, the silicone is a little little hot, but you can still touch it. Obviously, the baking sheet it was on is very hot, so you don't want to touch that. We're going to set it out here to cool. Now, again, we sprayed this with the non-stick cooking spray, so they should pop pop out relatively easily. So that I mean, look how clean it left it. That did a, a pretty nice job. Now this we, we're going to need to level off, but we're going to let it cool first before we level off and then uh, put it together with the filling on the inside and then ice the entire uh, cupcake. So for this one, I just want to set this one over. And again, as you can see, it doesn't leave much behind there. Set these off to the side. They are dishwasher safe, they're refrigerator safe, they're freezer safe, and uh, just makes easy cleanup and there's good versatility out of those. They're very durable. So let's let these things cool off. And let's uh, fill it and put it together. We'll be back to show you our final uh, final cupcake. Okay, so we're back with our final product. And at first, I was a bit skeptical that the idea was kind of corny and I was kind of questioning our results. But as you can see, we just pulled it out and finished it off. And it does look just like a really large cupcake. And it's pretty cool. We cut a piece out of the backside to kind of show you how it looks after we filled it. Now again, we found this recipe in the recipe guide. And it called for some uh, vanilla pudding on the inside and some uh, chocolate frosting. And so uh, that's the Boston cream pie cupcake and we just put a couple sprinkles on it to dress it up a little bit. And overall, you know, the pros for the product, it's extremely easy to use. Uh, a nice feature is it's non-stick, so when we flipped the product upside down to release the cake, the cake came right out clean and there was no cake residue left behind, which leaves us with a really, you know, detailed looking cupcake on the bottom. Now it is dishwasher safe which makes cleanup easy. It's also refrigerator and freezer safe which makes the product extremely versatile. Now a couple cons for the product. Uh, in the recipe guide it wasn't too specific as to how far to fill it up. So when we filled it up based on the pictures we saw in the recipe guide. For our top of the cupcake it actually rose outside of the outside of the mold and we just had to kind of plane that down in order to make it flat so it sat nicely on the uh, on the bottom of our cupcake. And also on the bottom of the cupcake where you set in the the piece that's going to leave you the hole for the uh, frosting, what happened was it there's two lines that they say in the recipe guide 
uh, you're supposed to fill it to. We fill it to those lines and it probably was a little bit low. But again, after you use the product, you're going to get the hang of it and you're really going to be making great cupcakes. Overall, the product's great. Star of using to give it five out of six stars. There might be a slight learning curve and in the infomercial, they probably make the product seem a little bit easier than it is to actually use. Also, they make the product look like your result is going to be huge. I guess the camera angle that they use to shoot the cupcake, normal cupcake versus the big top cupcake is uh, probably pretty favorable for them to sell the product and obviously that's just a marketing idea. Be sure to check out our website at StarViews.com to see us review more as seen on TV products.